fairly close. So we're gonna we're gonna finish these with the second shaping. So we're gonna shape them round. So I just want to show you, and it, it's similar to what we've been doing uh, already with one hand. Okay. So I'm going to demonstrate by just doing one. So up to now we've been flattening it, and we make a Swiss roll. Okay. We flatten. Pull up. The seam is showing upward. We make another Swiss roll and then we ball, okay? So we've been doing this, we've been doing that up to now. And that's fine. So I'm just gonna roll it in the flour and it'll go into the basket. So another way of doing it is flatten, fingers behind, push with your heel, fingers behind, push, okay? Same again, fingers behind, pull. So this is what's different. So at the heel of your hand, we're going to push and we're going to pull back with our fingers. We're going to push downward and pull back with our fingers. Push, pull back with our fingers. See this gentle action? It's called molding, okay? And my, my hand is at an angle, so I'm creating tension in the dough and I'm also creating a seam on the bottom to get a, right, a nice round form. Okay, so you can see the dough sits up nicely. It's got a nice joined seam on the bottom. So I'm just going to roll that again in flour and into the into the basket. And when you get out into bakeries, you'll be doing them like this with both hands. And you can see I don't have any flour on the table. Not in the, not in the area that I'm shaping. What you want is you want a nice tight ball, but you don't want the skin to tear. So if you see the skin starting to tear, it means you're exerting too much pressure on the dough. Stop. Be more gentle with it. Okay? All right, guys. Off you go.